Hello, buddy. My name is Eric, and today we're going to be taking a look at Solarium, which is a Windows XP virus, although it's not Windows XP era. It's a new project made by a viewer that I believe will have some really cool visuals and is also extremely destructive. This is a modern take on classic malware, which is intended to look cool and do some damage rather than just making money. So let's try running it and see what it does. You have just launched a copy of the Solarium Win32. Uh, okay, and this is, oh, it's even got like my name on it. The Eric Pilker channel in a virtual machine for educational purposes. The software has the capability to destroy and overwrite the critical data of the system. It creates loud noises and flashing lights. So I'm also going to say if you have epilepsy or you're concerned about flashing lights, do not watch this video. Click off now because when we click yes, this is going to happen. Second and final warning, yes. Now the main way this works is rather than simply deleting all of your data, which would take a long time, especially on Windows XP era systems, what it will do is it will delete the master boot record, which is the, on old hard drives, mo modern systems use GPT, it will essentially just mean that the system has no idea where the partitions are, so it can't find your data. So we'll click yes. And uh, now we have, ooh. Okay. Wow, that is loud. But it's so far. Okay, so far it's still running. And I believe the way this works is it manipulates the actual graphics rendering. Okay, but it's actually cool how it's essentially, it's creating an overlay. It's not actually disrupting our, so we can still use the system for now. It's sort of like MEMS. Except I don't think it's going to give us a nice neon cat when we... Okay. Let's see if we can... See if we can get our own... Uh... Oh! Now the colors are changing. I don't think we can... We can't watch YouTube on IE6, but maybe we can get the neon cat website. To... Okay, no. No, we're not going to get the cat going. Okay, the rate of change is accelerating. Here's the new effect. I think the way I'm going to edit this video to give more of the visual is I'm just going to... I'm going to put some sort of techno music behind it, which is kind of going to let the effects play out. And now the dog has taken over. I don't think that's from an applicant. Is that? I don't think that's because I opened it up. Okay. And now we're getting into the real uh, ep epilepsy danger.
Oh? Th this looks more... Okay. See what happens if we click... No, I think I must have actually opened some... The little dog is just... The lone survivor, because however it's rendered is just defeat. This kind of looks like a scene from Serial Experiments Lane. Okay, uh, now because I had a Windows CD, uh, let's just, let's remove that and see what would happen if we hadn't. Hold reset this. And we now get a similar visual show, but this is actually running, instead of being GDI, this is going to be running on the actual firmware. Or not the firmware, but on the, like, this is... Uh, running without an operating system. I actually really like this pattern. The only thing really left to do is now I'm going to mount a Linux ISO so that we can actually take a look and see what it's done. So we're not seeing anything by default, but let's just open up disks and see if we can find it that way. 43 gigabyte disk, free space. So it's completely yeeted. It's uh, completely overwritten the boot record. Now, one way you might be able to recover this is with a tool like test disk, but this is not looking good. Now, I'm not going to decompile or analyze this purely because the person send it to me. Uh, you spent months working on this. He's not using it maliciously and didn't want it to be decompiled, so I'm not going to. So that is going to be all for this video. I hope it was interesting. I hope you enjoyed the light show. Uh, please leave a comment if you have any comments about this or similar malware. And please let me know if you'd like to see more retro-style malware, both viewer-created and authentic. Bye!